Story 1. Alex? Alex, Alex? Oh my god, what? I have to tell you something. MHM go ahead I'm listening. I got a boyfriend. In mind oh no. I really liked her. Can I add him? Alex, Alex? Oh sorry. Sure, you can add him I guess. Okay, thanks. MHM no problem. Zulia69 added you boy on 85. Hey babe. Who is this? My boy BSF that I told you about. Alex. Hey, I'm Alex. Babe, can I add my girl BSF? Sure. Yo boy on 85 added yo girl Eric in 995. Hey Owen. In mind, huh? Matching usernames. Hey Erica. Let's introduce ourselves, like age name and face reveal. Okay. I'm Alex, 16 and this is me. Wow, handsome. So pretty. Nice, bro. Thanks guys. I'm Erica, 17 and this is me. Hermosa. A uh, babe. Why did you call her Hermosa? Girl shut the fuck up you're just jealous. Exactly. Um. Anyway, I'm Lisa, 17, and this is me. Ugly ASF. Mid. You're so beautiful, Lisa. Ah, thank you. Bro, what the fuck? That's my girl. So it was a compliment? Plus you calling girls Hermosa while having a girlfriend TF. So. Don't call my girl beautiful. Well, she's way more than beautiful. Lisa, can I private message with you? Uh, sure I guess. In private chat. So? Listen stay away from Owen he's mine plus he's just using you for Robux. Uh. It's fine TBH. I like someone else anyways. Good. And who is the person you like? Alex. Screenshot the chat. Well um. Let's go back to the group chat. In the group chat. Hey, you're back. What did y'all talk about? She harassed me. What? Don't believe her. That is not true. I believe Lisa cause she is super sweet. And I know her well enough she will never do such a thing. Erica, do you have proofs? Yes. Sends fake video to the group chat. That is not, what happened? Owen oh, private chat message me. No. We are over. What? Oh well, I liked someone else the whole time so. I used you for Robux. Oh, Erica told me. Lisa, who is the guys you like though? You. What? No, Alex is mine. Really? Girl, no what the fuck. I'm not with your crusty ah, tf. Ha 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 ha. LMAO. But please be mine. Alex poo my bobo bear honey bunny cutie pie. Yo girl Erica885 was kicked out of the group chat. Finally she's gone. Um I got to go. Yo boy on 885 has left the chat. Anyway. Lisa, can I be your boyfriend? Oh my god. Yes. Yay. Wanna play DH? Yes. They play for two hours. Huh? Isn't that Erica? Ha. Huh. I can't believe they tell for it babe. FR and that voice changer. It was so good live. Owen? Huh, who's there? Shit. The end. Story 2. Ashley guess what? What? I got something you'd say I'd never had. A girlfriend? Yep. Impossible. You know imaginary GFs don't count right? She's real. Ha. Huh. Can I add her? Yes, but what if she doesn't like me? She will don't worry. She has the same energy as you. Oh, okay. 
Vibrant Bibs has been added to the group chat. Hi, babe. Oh, hi, you must be Ashley, right? Michael has told me a lot about you. Yeah, it's me. He's told you good things, right? Yes, of course, lol. I'm Chloe, by the way. You guys are gonna be great friends, I can tell. Well, do you guys want to play something? Yeah, wanna play them too? But Michael, we usually play that together? Oh well, I play it with Ashley too. Oh, uh, okay. Wait on SEC, Michael. Ashley just texted to talk in private. Wait, wah. Wow. Well, that was weird. I'm sure it's nothing. They seem like they're getting along already. Oh, Ashley changed her avatar. Your friend, 1LSC me Ashley has unfriended you. User, 1LSC me Ashley blocked you. What the? Why did Ashley block and unfriend me? Wait, what? She did? Wow, maybe she was a fake friend. She seemed nice thought. I can't believe this. She was my favorite person. Don't be sad. You still have me. Right. Oh my god. Ashley messaged me to tell you it was a mistake and she's going to unblock you and friend you again. Oh. So, uh. I'll be right back. My mom calling me. This seems weird. How could Ashley accidentally unfriend me and block me? I hope Chloe isn't a part of this. Meanwhile. Ashley. What? Can you unblock and friend Michael? Wait, what? Why do you want me to do that? Five minutes ago you told me. Well, that was five minutes ago, just shut up and do that please. He's unhappy without you and I want to see him happy again. What is wrong with you? Just do it quick. Or you'll never talk and see him again. You're lucky I'm doing this. User, Michael has been unblocked. 1LTS me Ashley sent a friend request to Michael. He accepted. Join me. In the group chat. Oh hi, you guys are back. Yeah. Me and Ashley were having a great conversation, right Ashley? Wait. Ashley, how did you accidentally block and unfriend me earlier? It wasn't an accident. Then what? Ashley shows a recording she took of her talking to Chloe. What the hell, Ashley? Those message were private for a reason. Why would you record them? Well, then you told me that I messaged you to talk in private. I knew this wouldn't go too well, so I recorded it. I hate you so much. Wow, Chloe. I thought you were really the girl for me. And Chloe what did you was all pointless, I don't like Michael if you think that's what you thought. I'm already with someone else. Yeah. She is. She likes him a lot, she tells me everything about him. So she has told you a lot, but you've never met her so called boyfriend. He's probably not even real so. Hey babe. Hey Daniel. Oh. Hey Daniel. Your avatar is so cute. Uh. Thanks I guess. Who's that Ashley? Well, this is Chloe but she was leaving. Right Chloe? Wait what? I uh, know I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, fine. Daniel come on let's play something then we could get to know each other. No, thanks. Whatever, come on Michael. Are you really that dumb? Of course, I'm not going with you, go find someone else. What? You heard me, leave. I'm blocking you and unfriending you. Whatever, you lost, I could do so much better anyway. Yeah, and so could I. I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry Michael. It's okay. I didn't like her attitude anyway. LMAO. God. She was a bum. The end. Story 3. Good morning, everyone. Come on, wake up. Jeez, Mika, why the heck? Is your ass awake yet? 4 fucking 30 in the goddamn morning. It's fine, don't yell at her. She's just bored. 
and I was already awake. Well, not everyone in the group chat was awake. What time did you think it was to make you say good morning? Nine o'clock? What in the actual fact made you think it was four hours after the real time? Will you three shut it? I woke up because of you freaks. Don't talk over me shithead. Please. Oh, not Mike's precious beauty sleep. Shut up, Henry. It's not like you weren't woken up as well. Oh, whatever, I'm going back to bed. Oh well, I was wandering around this forest, and I found a huge tree. What did you do, Nika? I found a lost frisbee trapped in it, so I climbed the tree. So then? I grabbed it and fell off the tree. Are you okay, huh? Yeah, I found out it was a bird. You mistook a bird as a frisbee. I knew you were just a bit dumb, but... I remember I had a dream where I was riding a magical flying unicorn, and then it made me fall off, but then I woke up. Anyways, what were you doing in the forest at this time? Well, I wanted some fresh air because I got stupidly upset with Luna. What about me? You know what, it'd be easier to scroll up. Hey guys, I couldn't sleep. Sorry, Mika. It's okay. Whoa, what did I just hear? Did Luna just apologize? What happened? My Discord crashed. Hold up. Luna said sorry. Why'd she go offline? The next day. Good morning, everyone. Wanna play a game? I'm down to play anything at the moment. Me too. I'm choosing the game. Please, not a horror game again. I almost fainted yesterday. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just join me. They join Luna and the tycoon for a bit. They all find it fun and join a different one and play for a while. I'm getting quite tired. See you. Of course, you're tired. You're the deepest sleeper in this group. Shut it. Good night. It's getting late, and I have to get up early tomorrow. Good night. It's just not the same without Henry. Bye. Well then? Well then what? Do you want to play something? Sure, I don't mind. Join me. They both play a game for about an hour. I'm sorry, it's getting late. Good night, I'll talk to you later. Mike. I know you're awake. You don't sleep this early. Mike, 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 I know you hear me. God damn, Luna, what is so important that you have to spam me? Alright, listen up. You will not tell anyone about what I'm about to tell you. And what if I do, huh? Then I'm telling the entire group chat about your crush. You wouldn't dare. I will. Fine, what is the secret that you're so serious about, anyway? So, what's the secret? I like someone in this group chat. Whoa, that's a first. Who is it? I like Mika. What? This all makes sense now, the apologies, the way you're soft. Mike. And how you hang out with her more. Mike, I know. I refuse to believe you like her. I do, believe me. It's so stressful to like someone like her or even think about her. She's dumb and cute, but I have freaking issues. How will a dumb person like her handle someone as rude as me? We're truly opposite. There's no way she could handle me if I were her girlfriend. No way in hell. She was able to handle you for who knows how long you've known her for, but I doubt she'll understand a confession. Exactly, since I like Mika, how could I even confess to her without cracking my head open? God, I wish the ground could just open up and swallow me whole. It's going to be okay, Luna. She will understand, I guarantee it. It won't be too hard to confess to someone as nice as Mika. Not too freaking hard. She's a total. How can she even like me when she's sweet and I'm rude? There's no possible way I could get her to like me back. At this point, I should just try my best to move on. Move on. 
I know how you can confess, dimwit. We always FaceTime and know each other's faces. We could meet up, you could be alone with Mika, hand out flowers, then confess. She will understand. With flowers? What if she's been secretly pining on you for years, who knows? Okay, you're right. I can do this. But she'll never like me back. What's the point if I know she'll reject me? The only option is to move on. No, it isn't. We've known each other for years, and we're her only friends. Plus she's a lesbian. Don't give up already. You cannot be freaking serious, Mike. I don't think she'll reject me. I know she will. You can do it. Don't pay attention to the worst possible situations. Just figure out how to confess for now. Okay, whatever Mike, you sound confident. When will you ever confess to him like this? When pigs fly. Touché, Luna. But seriously, focus on your confession for now. Maybe one day, I'll gather the courage to confess too. Well, I appreciate your support, Mike. And hey, who knows? Maybe when pigs do start flying, it'll be a sign for both of us to take that leap. Huh, fair enough. But for now, let's plan your confession to Mika. What's your next move? I guess I'll start by talking to her more, you know, spending even more time with her. Good idea. Get closer as friends, and when the time feels right, make your move. And remember, Luna, even if things don't turn out the way you hope, I'll still be here for you. Thanks, Mike. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. No problem, Luna. Now go and start your journey to confessing your feelings to Mika. Who knows, it might just turn out better than you think. Yeah, I'll try to stay positive. Thanks for being there for me, Mike. So then it beat me in the mole. The teeth were so sharp. I just wanted to play with it because I thought it was a stray kitten at first. Mika, are you on some kind of drugs? No. What are drugs? You know what? Never mind, then. Finally, you guys are here. Even I woke up before you too. Okay, Henry, we were up late private chatting. What about... None of your freaking business. The next day. Guys, wake up. I want to ask something. Hi, what's your question? Hold on, I want to ask everyone in this group chat. Hi, what's up, Rini? Henry's not awake yet. Jeez. Shut up. I'm blocking my Okay, whatever. What do you want, Rini? Well, yesterday, I became friends with this girl in Ragdoll. Get to the point. And we became friends because our outfits look similar. Okay, so what? Could I add her? Ew, no way in hell. Since when did you make friends? I hate women. Who are you adding? I will add her anyways. Val had been added by Rini. Hello, my name is Val. She looks nothing like your freaking avatar. Yes, she does. You're just delusional. Whatever you say. Why hello, would you like an introduction? Of course, your voice is so adorable. No one cares, just move on. I wanna go first. I'm Mika, and I'm 16. Rini and 18. I'm Henry 15. Mike, I'm 17. I'm Valentine, and I'm 17. Luna, 17. I love your name, Val. Thank you. I think Mika's a cute name, too. Do you ever shut up? Are you and Mika a thing? No, Luna's just like that. Let's just play a game. I'm down if everyone else doesn't mind. Of course. I'm down. Finally, something interesting. Alright, how about a game of two truths and a lie? We can learn more about each other that way. Sounds good. 
Who wants to go first? I'll start. Let's see. Two truths and a lie. Okay, I can play the guitar. I've been to three different countries, and I've never broken a bone. You play the guitar. I find that hard to believe. Well, that's your first guess. I'll reveal the lie later. Luna, you're up next. All right, here it goes. I can speak three languages. I've traveled to five different states in the U.S., and I'm a vegetarian. Three languages. Impressive if true. You'll have to guess which one's the lie. Rini, your turn. Let's see. I've been skydiving. I have a pet turtle named Sheldon, and I've never eaten sushi. Skydiving? That sounds thrilling. We'll find out if it's true or not soon enough. How about you, Mike? Okay. Here are mine. I'm a black belt in karate. I've won a cooking competition, and I've never been on an airplane. Wow, a black belt in karate. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Henry. Now it's your turn. I'm the youngest of five siblings, I've climbed a mountain, and I once accidentally locked myself in a bathroom for an hour. Locked in a bathroom for an hour? That must have been an interesting story. You'll find out soon enough. And finally, Mika, it's your turn again. Okay, here are mine. I can juggle three bows, I've been to a music festival, and I've never broken a bone. You can juggle? That's a cool skill. Thanks, Belle. All right, everyone, take your guesses on who's telling the truth and who's lying. I'm going to say Val's lie is not playing the guitar. You'll have to wait and see. Mika, any guesses? I think Luna's lie is being a vegetarian. We'll see about that. I'm gonna log off. See you. I don't mind. All right, join me. They all drop out in the air bay and play for a couple of hours. Henry notices Luna online and leaves the game to private chatter. Hey Luna. Hello. Are you there? Sorry, I was thinking. No worries. All right. Why are you acting weird? What do you mean? I mean that if you meet someone new, you're shy, not rude. Is this about Val and Mika? Are you jealous? I don't know what you're talking about. Practically everyone knows except Val and Mika. Don't lie to me. So it's obvious. Mika doesn't know because she's not interested in me. That doesn't give you the right to be rude to Valentine. You don't even know if Mika likes her back. Back to the group chat. If I were to walk around the earth, would I go upside down at one point? What? No. But the earth is round, so if it's round and if I were to walk around it, then it would happen. No, that wouldn't happen. So, is the earth flat? Never mind that. Where is Henry? Probably still sleeping his head off. It's 2 fucking p.m. Hi, what did I miss? You missed Mika being a total dumbass. Where have you been? Why do you care? Maybe because it's literally 2 p.m. Okay, anyways, I just woke up, and I don't know what to eat. Help me. Go cook something. I can't cook. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna go change my avatar. No one cares. He's taking so long. I'm back. Seems like most of you don't like it. Your voice sounds nothing like your avatar would. Yeah, your voice doesn't matter. Everyone would expect your emo ass to have a deep voice or something. But you don't have a deep voice yet emo. Anyone gonna talk about my saying my Henry? Since when? Ha oh. Scroll up. What? I don't know what you're talking about. So you got anything to say, Henry? About what I was eating, my crackers. You're eating crackers for breakfast. Yeah, so what? I can't cook. Just eat some ramen or something. 
Don't you know how to make ramen? But these crackers are so good. I dropped the last one texting you guys. This is all your fault, except Mike. He's fine. I hate each and every one of you, all else you all except Mike owe me, new crackers. How the hell does that make any sense? Why is Mike the only one who isn't getting scolded? Don't you get it? Henry likes Mike. Guys, I found a boomerang, look. Sin's photo. Mika, that's a fucking tree branch. Is your eyesight okay? Yes, why do you ask? Anyways, I was wondering if we could meet up since we all live in the same area. You guys in? That sounds like fun. Anytime. Sure. But when and where? Uh, asterisk, 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 asterisk. And maybe 2 p.m. next week. I'll come. Uh, Mike? Hello, Mike? Henry, you broke Mike. Can't believe you're accusing me of such a thing. So you did? No, how would I even break him? The next morning. Hey, guys. Wanna play a game? It's back. I thought you died yesterday or something. You're up early. Who are you? Shut up, Mike. I don't sleep that much. I want to play a game too. I pick. Good I can't stand any more of those easy obbies. Henry is choosing. Shush. If you're so good at choosing, then go ahead. It's Rini's turn to choose. Don't skip him. Where's Luna? She's awfully quiet. Is she still asleep? You dumbass. How the hell can I be in this FaceTime call if I'm asleep? Your camera was off. I didn't know you were in this call, dipshit. Well, now you know. I'll turn my camera back on. Good morning, Luna. Alright, now that we're all here, let's play the game. They all join Rini and her tall man and finish a few chapters. After some hours and quit playing. Goddamn Mika's fucking screeching made me go deaf. I swear to God. She's fine. She literally said she hates horror games. What did you expect? And it's your fault you made her go in front. She never goes in front. I just wanted to see. It's fine. Honestly, it was pretty scary, but it was super fun. We should play again. Mika's right. It was fun. But I forgot the code, and chapter one was pretty short. I remember the code. I'll write it down or something. I literally cannot take another horror game. It nearly made me fall out of my chair. Anyone down to play Breaking Point? No. I'm gonna log off for the day. I'm gonna play some Arsenal. See you later. I'm down. I haven't played Breaking Point for a while. Alright. Join me. I have something to say to you. Are you joining us, Luna? No. I'm feeling some arsenal, so I'm gonna join Mike. Alright, talk to you later, Luna. Luna joins Mike in arsenal, and after a bit, they both see Mika and Valentine online and leave the game to talk with them. Oh, hey, guys. Hi, Luna. Wow, no hi to me. Hi, Mike. Um, Mika, are you okay? You seem to be acting weird. Uh, yeah, I just need some space at the moment. I'm gonna log off. Bye. Good night. Bye, Mika. Sweet dreams. Does anyone else think Mike is acting unusual? Yeah, I hope she's okay. Do you know why she's being weird, Valentine? Not a chance. We were just playing, and I told her something. It wasn't important, though. Okay, good night, Valentine. Good night, Val. Night. Thanks. Good night. Well, to be honest, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going as well. Identity thought? Hmm, sure. Also, are you going to the meetup with everyone? 
Luna suggested meeting at Ohio Park on Sunday. Of course. Also, could I tell you something? Don't tell anyone, but I like Henry. Wow, surprising. Now, let's play. What? You knew. I'm getting impatient. How did you know? Shut up, lover boy. I always thought you guys were obvious. Now shush and join me. After play. Hey, guys, where's Henry? School ended. He should be online. Um, yeah. I don't think it's easy for him to find out his best friend likes him in that way. Huh? What do you mean? You told Rini you like Henry in the group chat. I don't think he wanted to find out this way. Well, no Val. I meant that it's not easy for him to process these feelings right now. It's gotta be a shock for him. Exactly, Rini. Confessing like that in a group chat might have put him in a difficult spot. Oh man, I didn't realize it would be so complicated. I just wanted to be honest about how I feel. Well, I think it's important that you talked about it, but maybe you should have done it privately with Henry first. Yeah, Val's right. Honesty is great, but it can be overwhelming in a group setting. And it's not fair to put him on the spot like this. He might need some time to process everything. You're right, I should have thought about that. I'll message him privately and apologize. That's a good idea, Mike. Give him some space to process his feelings, and hopefully, things will work out. Yeah, and if he values your friendship, he'll understand that you were just being honest about your feelings. Exactly. It's important to be considerate of his emotions during this time. I'll be right back. Good luck, Mike. What? So you're telling me that Henry scrolled up and read our conversation? Nailed it. And you didn't bother to tell me, Rini? I thought you knew, and you never would have confessed anyway. This is a good time. It's going to be alright, Mike. Just because he went offline doesn't mean he's going to hate you for this. Yeah, he's probably just stunned, and maybe Mika is talking to him right now. He's most likely calm and just figuring out what to say. No, you guys don't get it. I figured out a way to confess to him, and it definitely wasn't like this. I never wanted him to find out this way. You'll be okay. Who knows? What if he likes you back? Let's just wait till they're here. Yeah, Henry is a calm person. He won't freak out. I don't know what to do right now, Mika. My crush likes me back. This is serious. I thought he was a straight man. I can't take this. I always thought he'd just move on. I never wanted to find out like this. It's going to be okay, Henry. It's not bad. Your crush likes you back. At least he doesn't hate you. But what the hell do I even say? I'm so embarrassed right now. God knows what will happen when I open that chat. It's okay, Henry. Just calm down. The worst that could happen is that he doesn't like you back. And if he does, you can talk to him. Easy for you to say. You don't know how this feels. I think about him every day. I've never dated anyone. Just find the right words to say. Don't be afraid. He will text you first. There's nothing to worry about. All right, then. I guess I'm just going to rest for a bit since I'm stressed. Thank you, Mika. Anytime. I hope you find a good time to talk to Mike. Yeah, I hope so too. I just need to gather my thoughts and not overthink it. That's the spirit, Henry. Take your time and be yourself. It'll work out. Thanks for being such a good friend, Mika. You're always there when I need you. Of course, Henry. That's what friends are for. Just remember, I'm here to support you no matter what happens with Mike. I appreciate that more than you know. Alright, I'll talk to you later, Mika. Take care, Henry. I'll be here whenever you need to talk. Good luck. Are you okay, Mike? 
Yes, Valentine, I'm so happy that my crush found out I'm head over heels for him in the stupidest way possible. No Val I'm freaking stressing. I'm sorry, Mike. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have freaked out. I'm just stressed. It's alright, Mike. He likes you back. He's probably just sleeping it off. Yeah, you're right. There isn't a time he isn't tired. Whereas Mika, shouldn't she be back by now? Yeah, I'll go find her. Alright, Mike is playing ragdoll by herself. What for? What are you doing here by yourself? Oh, uh, I was just playing alone. But you never play alone. You could have asked us to play. I'll go tell the others to join. I'm fine, Luna, really. I just need some space. Please leave me alone. Don't bother them. I need time to think. I have a lot on my mind. All right, then. We'll give you some space. You can talk to me anytime. Yeah, thanks, Luna. Whatever you say. Bye, Mika. Hey, Luna, where is Mika? She said she needs space alone. Oh, well Henry isn't coming online anytime soon. After 30 minutes. So then snake bit me. Now my nose hurts. It has an uncomfortable band-aid on it. Why? Just why did you pick up the snake? I thought it was cute. Love, how do you think a snake is cute? It looked like a ferret until my brother said it was a snake. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Awful. Henry hasn't been online for the past two days. I'm worried sick. Don't worry. I don't think Henry would want you sad. He's just taking a tiny break. Yeah, by tomorrow, he'll be back. I can't wait till tomorrow, though. I'm so anxious. Just go play a game to calm you down. Yeah, a little game with someone won't hurt. If I'm not feeling well, I would play a game with Henry and talk to him about it. Well, play with Aiden. You haven't talked to him or mentioned him for a while. Alright, but Henry hates Aiden. I haven't talked to him since. Let's just hope this helps me get over Henry. Don't say that. He most definitely likes you back. Just because he's taking a break doesn't mean he doesn't like you. He's just thinking. Yeah, you can go play with him. But it won't make you feel better if you pretend you don't like Henry anymore. He's right. But playing with Idan can get your mind off all this. Thank you, guys. I'll go play with him for a few hours. Um, hi Aiden. Oh my god, Mike. It's been a while. Yeah, I just have a lot happening right now. <laughs> I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Yeah, can we join a game? I don't see why not. Join me. Mike joins Aiden, and he explains what happened between him and Henry. Aiden comforts him, and they keep playing the game for a few hours. Thanks for understanding and being there for me, Aiden. No problem. If anything like that happens again, come talk to me. Will do. Anyone have a clue on what Rini is doing? No, why? He's online and muted, also not responding to my DMs. I'm at McDonald's. Oh, get me a happy meal? One time I had a happy meal when I was little, and I choked on the toy. I never ordered a happy meal again ever since. Henry, you're back. <gasps> Took you long enough. Welcome back. Hi. Where's Mike? I think I'm ready to talk to him. He's playing a game with Aiden. Aiden? Are you kidding? We're dead serious. I can't join. They're in a private server. None of us are friends with Aiden. I'm pretty sure. Not even Henry. I thought he would. Why would I? I blocked him. I suspected that Mike would have both his best friends meet. Oh, so he wasn't kidding about you hating him. He knew too. Yet he's playing with him still. It was us. We suggested it since they haven't talked in a while. 
That's right. We thought it might be a good opportunity to mend things between you two. We know it's been a bit tense lately, and we figured a game could help break the ice. And Aiden is a good mediator. He's friends with both Mike and you, Henry. Well, I appreciate your efforts, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him yet. Come on, Henry. It's been long enough. Whatever happened between you two, it's time to move past it. And remember, you can always start by just playing the game with them. No need to dive into deep conversations right away. Yeah, it's just a game, after all. No pressure. And if things get awkward, we're here to support you. Alright, I guess I could give it a try. Thanks, guys. Story 4 Oh shit dot I'm going to be late dot thanks for waiting, ace. No problem. Oh, that's the bell. What do you have? I have English dot what about you? Oh, I have English too. Let's walk there together. Sure. Well, I'll see you later, Caden. See you later. Good morning class. Today we have a new student. Please welcome her. Hello. My name is Sage and I'm 15. Please take a seat next to Kaden. Kaden, please say where you are. Here. Take a seat now, please. Okay, let's start the class. Hey Kaden Wright. Yeah. Wanna be friends? Sure dot, do you want to have lunch with me and my friend later? Of course. He's the best. One hour detention. Bro, what the actual fuck? Watch your language. Fuck no. Get out. Fine. Class dismisses. What are you doing? Get out. Kaden and Ace blushes. Ugh. Oh. Wait, Ace. Oh my god, Sage. It's been so long. I know, right? So, how was life? Kaden here really. Damn. What is this feeling? Somehow I feel just out of No, no. It can't be a dumb piece at all. It's great, what about you? It's lovely. I still remember that time where you fell into that pool. It was so funny. Maybe for you. I was all soaked and wet. Kaden POV. Plus we only are best friends You would never like my back if I did. I'm just going to take my leave. At least I didn't drop my ice cream on that day. It was my most favorite ice cream flavor. Oh hey Kaden, should we go and get? Oh where did he go? No need to worry, he will find us later. First, let's catch up on stuff. Alright. At once. They just finished the class. Finally that art lesson is over. Seems like Ace is busy right now. Now I'll just talk to him later. Hey, wait up. Huh? My name is Luna, wanna be friends? Sure. My name is Kaden. Wait, dot, aren't you that girl from my English class? Yes, where the dumb English teacher was talking about Ed Sheeran, so I told him the truth. Well, anyways, what's your sexuality? I'm not sure. Well, I am a lesbian. If you don't know, dot, what's your sexuality, do you have a crush? Well, it's not that a big crush, dot, I might like him a little bit. Are you sure it's a small crush? I think so. Then who is it? I'm not going to tell you in public. But there's nobody here in the school right now. Everybody is outside. Well, too bad dot come to my house after school and I'll tell you. And where is our meeting? Your house after school? Just in front of the school. Alright. Oh my god, then I'm not going to maths that I'm white teacher looks like Ed Sheeran. 
Well, at least you don't have fucking science. Bro, science isn't even that bad. Well, I'm skipping. I'm not. Well, alright, nerd. I'll see you after school. After school. Oh my god, god, how long is she going to take? I'll explain later. Just run. What? Run, goddamn. Young lady, you need to go to, to detention. Fuck off. I'm just not going to ask about that. Now take me to your house so we can discuss this stuff. Alright. Uh, you don't have that bad house, right? What do you have a mansion or something? I actually do have a mansion. You make me feel poor. Well, let's go in. Wait, what the fuck is that? Now take me to your house so we can discuss this stuff. This shit, son of a bitch. Hurry up. Bro, how do you open this door? How can you be so stupid? That was some bullshit. Says the one who broke my wall over Ed Sheeran poster. Shut the fuck up, then I'm not paying for it. Well, you are. Now tell me who see your crush. Are you really trying to change the subject? Duh. Fuck dot, let's just go to, to my room. Now tell me who is your crush. You probably don't know him. So I'll just find the picture. Here it is. Here dot, look. Bro, he's my brother's best friend. See him nearly every day. Dang. Really? I thought I was his best friend. Wait. What is that? What is what? That shadow figure in the background on the roof. I'm not sure, but doesn't that hair look similar? Wait, doesn't it look like the new girl, Sage? Wait, it does. But why would she be there? I don't know. Hey, bro, do you have my charger? Sorry, sis, I don't have it. Asterisk in mind. OMG, she is so beautiful. It's fine, by the way. Who is this? Asterisk in mind. Her voice sounds so hot. Oh, she's Luna, a friend of mine. Oh, hello, Luna. Nice to meet you. Oh, um, hello. Well, I'm going to take my lave. See you. Yeah, bye, sis. It's so obvious you like my sister. What? No. Well, maybe. Seems like we both have crushes now. Wait, Dot, do you even know how to ask our crushes out? No, but I have an idea. What is it? We watch Rotom. Dot, Dot, great idea. Let me grab my phone. There, found a video. Do you have a crush and planning to ask them out? Well, you came to the right video. So hello dweebs who don't know how to ask their crushes out. But back on topic of the video, so you want to get stuff they like, mind likes cats, Lego, dressing up and naming his guitars. So let me go get my crush's favorite stuff. Got it, let me show you the items. These are the items, and also, when confessing, make sure you're in a beautiful place. Oh, my crush is coming this way now. Itchy tie. Hi, what do you need? Your love. Bro, what do you need? I like you more than a friend. I like you too. Now come with me. Okay. I swear to God, I'm going to make one more time. I'm going to flip. Hey, Luna, look at this. Look at that. Son of a bitch. Wait. Don't break up me of my stuff. Asterisk something breaks. Luna, what the fuck? Oops, sorry. I'm still not paying for it. Well, too bad you are. Uh. BRO1. Hey, what's going on here? Um. Luna picks a flower and gives it to Lexi. Oh, for me? Yes. Would you like to go on a date with me on Monday? Of course, yes. Yes. 
Dang, I thought you would be too scared to do that. Well, my mom didn't raise any P asterisk SSY. Well, see you on Monday. Okay. Oh my god, she is so goddamn pretty. I am still here. Oh, shut up. Let me have my moment. Yeah. No god, I'm kicking you out of my house. Dot. You can come back tomorrow. Wait. Next day. Sunday 9.23. Morning. Good morning. Someone knocks the door. Who's that? I'm not sure. Then can you look for me? Fine. What's up, bitch? Okay, then I'm here to say if you should get stuff to ask your crush out. Sure then. Let's see. I'm going to go shopping with a friend that I'll be back later. Alright? Okay, let's go. At the shop. So, what now? We buy stuff. Let's go to the flower store first. Okay. Hello. 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 Can we please get some flowers? Of course. What kind? What flowers does your sister like? I'm pretty sure she likes roses. Oh, can we get two bunch roses? Sure. Here. Thank you. That will be 20 pounds. Bro, what? How is the roses so expensive? So, do you want them or not? Fine. Kaden, you pay. Wait, what? I'm holding the roses and I can't get my credit card. Fine. You own me next time. Alright? Deal. Thank you. Alright, but bye. 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 Wait, where did the roses go? In my pockets. Girl, you don't have any. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just not going to ask any more questions. You better not. Okay, let's go to your house and plan the confession. All right. At Jaden's house. So what now? So I'm thinking about that you should confess to these tonight. Why tonight? Because if we don't now, the roses will die. Fine, but what if he rejects me? At least you had a go. Let's just see where he is. It looks like he's in the your mom park. Wait, how do you know? We don't talk about that. We still have some time. What should we do? I should write a letter for him. Not bad idea. After writing your letter. Finally, we are finished. Well, let's go to the park now to see if Ace is still there. All right. Hey, Luna, are you not coming? I need to call somebody really quick. All right. Just ask him go out now. Okay. Isn't that Sage and Ace? I'll just watch first what they're saying. Ace, I like you. Wait, what was that? Kaden. Hey, wait up, Kaden. Activate the plan now. Wait up, Kaden. Kaden is hit by a truck. Kaden, wake up. Hello? Please. Kaden, wake up, please. Sorry, sir, you can come in. But that's my best friend. Sorry, sir, that it's for safety. We need more doctors. More doctors, please. More doctors, come. I'm just going call a friend. Come on, pick up. Hello, do you need anything, Ace? Hey, Felix, can you go to the hospital near town? No. Yes, please. Bro, it's 11 p.m. But sure, I'll be there in 10 seconds. Thanks. Hey, Ace. Oh, hey. Why so sad? My best friend just got hit by a truck. Oh, I'm sorry, Ace. Beep. Hmm. Oh, I hope you don't mind I brought my boyfriend. Nope, I don't mind at all. Nurse appears. So? 
Oh, Caden is doing fine. He's breathing well. Phew. If you want to visit him, you can come in. Can we come? Sure. Felix is POV. Wait, isn't that guy Caden? PSS baby, doesn't that look like Caden? Are you doing all right, Caden? Yeah, thanks for coming. Wait, it does. Eyes, can I talk to Caden alone? Sure. Or you are in big danger. What do you mean? I can't tell she's watching, but just look out, Doc. Don't trust anybody, not even you. Stay safe. Babe, we need to go. Call this number when you're in emergency. Alright, good luck. That was so strange. What is he even on about? I'll just put this in my pocket. Now what should I do? Hey, Caden. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So why were you at the park? No reason. I just wanted to. I'll have a stroll around the park, yeah. If you guess so. So are you not going home? Nah, I'll just stay with you. Nah, I'll just stay with you. Thanks. Well, I need to go get something that I'll be back. Oh, hey, Luna. Hey. Lena turns off the light. From why did the leave? Lena beats Kaden. Kaden black eyes. Am I bad? Kaden opens his eyes. My dead god. Finally. I really thought you knock him dead. Bro, I didn't even hit him that hard. Do you not have eyes? He's literally bleeding. Well, changing the subject. Hey, Kaden.do, you miss me? Fuck off. I really thought I could trusted you. Well, too bad you can't. I'm hungry. Then let's get some food. Bye bye, Kaden. Dang, why do I feel so dizzy? Kaden fall asleep and awake. Oh, you're awake. Who are you? Oh, I'm Sage's stepbrother. It's really nice to meet somebody else. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I've been grounded for five months. Why? Oh, for fighting with Sage. Well, she definitely deserves it after she'd done this to you. I overheard them earlier when they were eating that you were here, so I came to help for a bit. Thanks, I guess. No problem. By the way, what's your name? I'm Drake, what about you? I'm Caden. By the way, don't move you or head that it's still healing. Thanks again. It's fine. Sorry if the mattress is a little bit uncomfortable. No, it's fine. Are you thirsty or hungry? I am a little bit thirsty, but I don't need a drink. I can tell you don't fully trust me. You are pretty good guessing about that. Well, you can trust me that I swear on my dead mom's grave, and that's a lot. I guess I could trust you then. Alright, I'm going to go get you a drink. Here's your water. Oh, wait, you can't move much here that I'll just feed you. Drake feeds Kaden water. Is that enough? Yeah, Dot, thanks again. By the way, why are you helping me? Oh, my mother said to help other people in need of help no matter what. So that's why I'm helping you. And let's talk about stuff about ourselves. I'm Drake that I'm one six that I'm why sexual is pansexual, and I like cats. Then I'm Caden. I'm 16 and I'm pretty sure I'm bisexual dot and I love cats. Oh, look like we have something in common. MHM. Someone is coming. Oh, shit. Hey. I'm surprised you didn't die when I hit you with that truck. So what should we do with him? We could torture him. Great idea. But with what? A knife? Yes, great idea. I'll go get it. Why are you doing this? You have a crush on my future boyfriend. Maybe that's why. Got it. Can I do first? Please. Drake it, Sage and Lily. 
Dang. I didn't even hit them that hard. Oh well. Can you try to get up? All right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Where do we go now? Just wait one SEC. Hello. What the fuck, Alice? Sorry, anyways, who's this? Oh, somebody who I... Is he your boyfriend? No, he's a friend I met. Oh man, that I thought you pulled up some bitches for once. Anyways, let's go. Where are we going exactly? Somewhere we can hide for a bit. Wait, what? Did Drake not tell you? I forgot to tell him. Oh my god. Swear you forget everything. I'll just tell you when we get in my car. All right. Someone knocks the door. Now this wall. Shit, they're here. To the back door. How the fuck do you open this door? They escape and get in the car. Well, that was dreadful. That was not me fault. It really was. Well, maybe. Anyways, can I get to know what the fuck is happening? Oh yeah. So Luna and Sage has more people coming over in the plan what Luna and Sage thought was to sell you. I'm pretty sure that us all were going go hide for a bit because they are probably going hunt us down. So where are we going to hide? At my dad's hotel. Yeah, I'm adopted but like I'm so grateful to have two dads. Anyways, put some music on, Drake. Alright, I'm OM. Do you want me to kick you out of this car and leave you on the street? No miss. Now turn on the music. Fine. Hurry up, get out of the car. How to dog give me one minute? We don't have one minute. Fine, I'm coming. Eden falls and Drake helps. Whoa, got you. Bro, this is not the time to be lovebirds. Let's go. Back to pass. Ace's POV. What the? Wait. Kaden? What the fuck happened? I'm going to call the Felix to see if something about this. Oh, my god. Fucking pick up. Hello. Oh, hey. Felix's boyfriend. Just call me Alex. Can you come over? Sure, I'll be there in like one to two minutes. Holy shit. Do you know anything about this? Yes, I do. Tell me. So, oh, Caden has been kidnapped. Caden has what? Uh, not now, Alice. I'm dealing with something. Just do what you want. Your dad's voice sounds odd. Hey, don't talk like that about my dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to the elevator. Alright, give me a minute. I need to ask Caden something. Okay, I'll be waiting. Hey, why are you so quiet? I'm just really, really tired. Tired? Do you want me to carry you there? I'll be fine. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go on. They get in the elevator. Oh, by the way, you and Kaden has Tasha room because we ran out of spare rooms. Oh, that's all right. Oh, we're here. Okay, your rooms are over there, and my room is just in front of yours. Let us know if you need anything. Just knock for me. You talk so much. Oh, shut up. All right, see ya. Bye. Come on, slow poke. You should go get washed first, then go to sleep. MHM all right. Hmm, what should I do now? Wait, I know. I'm going to watch some Netflix. Finally, I feel better. I'm just going to go check on Drake. Oh, hey Drake. Looks like you have more energy than before. Yeah, dot so what are you doing? I was about to watch a movie until I got some messages from Alice. What is it about? 
Nothing important. All right. I'm going go take a shower now. Okay. Bro was so fast going to the shower. Anyways, what do I do now? We have to go. Wait. What? Why? Just fucking run and follow me. Wait, I need to get something. Too late. Open the fuck up, they are here. Wait, already. Yes, hurry up. How the hell? Okay, let's run. What the fuck is even happening? Wait, wasn't that Peter? So did that guy take him? He must have. I'm going to call 911. Cargo passing the bro is the phone. What the fuck? He answers the phone. Hello. Oh, you know Sage and Luna? They are chasing us right now with some other people. Oh. What should I do? Then keep the lookout. Oh, alright. Then what do I do? Well, Rude, I swear you have favoritism. Hey, guys. Wow, you finally knew. What is it, Caden? There's some car chasing us. Okay, that's fine. Wait. What? You know what time it is. It's 2156. No, it's speeding time. But that's illegal. But that's the point. Sit down, Caden, before she starts speeding. I'll be fine. No, you won't. Sit down. Fine. Why do you care so much? Am I not allowed to? You're so boring. You should slow down until we run over somebody. Guys. What? what? We are low on gas. What? At least try get away from the cars. I am. Alice makes a turn and cut the cars off. I think I lost them. Yeah, you definitely did. That jump of the car was so unnecessary. It was so necessary. No, it wasn't. Oh. What? Do you not have eyes? The car stopped because there's no more gas. Oh dot, what do we do? Sleep. Jake falls asleep and starts to snore. Uh, I have some camping supplies in the trunk. Wanna set a camping space nearby? Sure, anything to get away from the snoring. All right, come out. I can still hear that annoying rat snoring. I heard you, bitch. That is definitely not going to fit all of us. Well, we got to use what we have. Don't be ungrateful. Drake's snoring is so goddamn annoying. I know, right? Shut up, but I'm trying to sleep. Then come and sleep in the tent. Hell no, that shit looks tiny. And here is so comfy. Then come and sleep in the tent with me, Caden. Okay. No, I'm not letting Caden sleep near you. Why? Just never. Come into the car, Caden. All right. Night, Alice. Uh, good night, Caden. Sage in the POV. Yeah, da I don't see them. Ugh. It's not my fault. You made that stupid idiot hit us. I didn't know. Is the others behind us? I think so. The others POV. This car looks so stupid. Shut up. This car looks beautiful. Are you serious? This is Ed Sheeran car? Well, maybe. You guys are so annoying always fighting dot anyways. Why are we doing this? We need the money from C. Our house is in debt. Probably from somebody using the electric for way too long. Wait. Hey, you. Yes. You don't let me introduce you to these people. So that one at the back is Sarah. She is the kindest one in the group and probably the group therapist. Next to the two idiots, the white hat is Lucas, and the black head with the star crown is Emma. They are the one who fights all of the time. Lastly, there's no doubt he is the one who is always so calm. Dot maybe I like him. Dot I'm not sure. 
And there's me dad, I'm Xander. But those folks call me Xan. If you wonder how does this connect to Caden's story? Well, you will see soon that we are big help to them. Maybe that's a clue dot well. Goodbye for now. That's not my fault. This hair needs all the care can. Oh, shut up. You greasy head. Excuse me? What did you call me? Greasy head. Do you not have yours? Son of a... Oh, my god. Shut up. Wow, that's, that's the, the first, first time, time you, you shouted, shouted at us. us. Hey, don't copy me. Stop! Is there a thing that you guys went by for once? Probably not. Then why are you so quiet? Why you care? No, shut up. You guys need to stop flirting all the time. You are not. I have to agree with Lucas. For once in my life, just let them be guys. Anyways, why are you so quiet? Don't you feel a little bit bad for the guy we are chasing? What's his name again? His name is Caden, and I'm pretty sure Sage's stepbrother is helping him. I feel like this Caden guy has been through a lot just because he has a crush on Sage's. Why can't we help him? Because we need the money from Sage. Yeah, but why can't we just steal from Sage? She also didn't pay us last time we did this. Well, I guess we have a reason if we stole from her. Yeah, I guess so. Let's make a plan. Is everybody in? Everybody agree. Okay, does anybody know Caden then? Personally, I'm just curious. Yeah, he's in my maths class. And how do you know him personally? I don't. OMG, your talking can be such a waste of time. Anybody else? Oh, me dad, I'm his cousin. Wait, Wait what? 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 I forgot I was his cousin. That's a big deal, Dot. W, you definitely need to help him. Do you have his phone number? Yeah, and I also have Sage's stepbrother phone number. Okay, tell them to come to the No Bitches Cafe and we will meet them there. Alright. Wait, isn't the No Bitches Cafe really shutting down? And it's always so empty. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Hello, who is this? Oh, hey, Kaden. Oh, hey, Star. Dot. Long time no talk. Yeah, long time no talk. By the way, can you come to the No Bitches Cafe? Why? I'll tell you when we are there. All right. What time? Yes, JT. What time, Emma? 9 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Is that all right? All right. We'll see you soon, Kaden. So how the hell are we going go to No Bitches Cafe without Sage and Lou following us? Leave that to me. Let me get my phone. What do you want, Emma? Oh, hey, Sage. So me and the gang, whatever you call it, we are going to take a break tomorrow, if that's fine. Fine, but you guys have to work double shift for the next days. Okay. Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Ugh, she's so rude. I have to agree with that. Same. The next day. Everybody hurry up. It's 8.30 p.m. Star comes. You got here fast. Yeah, I was doing stuff outside, and then I heard you, so I came. Lucas comes. B-O-O. What the fuck, Lucas? That was so unnecessary. I know, right? Hey guys. Hey. Emma fails. What the fuck happened to Emma? Nothing much. Okay, let's go. In the car. We are nearly there. Just wait for minutes. Alright. We are here, Dot S.O. Lucas. You stay in the car with Emma and the rest of us go see Caden. Why me? Just deal with it. The rest get out of the car. Hey, you guys, wait up. OMG star. Kaden Dot, while you grew so tall. Not same to you. While rude anyways. Meet my friends. Hello Dot and my name is Noah. Oh, I'm Zen. And who's that? Oh, that's Drake, a good friend of mine. Wait, is that Sage? Wait, what? Sage shoots Drake. With Ace. How long did I sleep for? Wait, that doesn't matter right now. 
I'm still here, you know. Oh yeah. So wait, where's Caden and the other two people? I think they went to meet somebody. Then why did you not tell me? You were asleep for like a day. Still? Where's the reason? I'll go tell Sage. Alex's pop. Is this guy dumb Sage is the one who took Caden and planned all of this? Alex's pop. Let's just see how long it takes him to notice Sage is behind all of this. Phone ringing. Oh, hey Sage, how are you? Oh, hey Boo. Alex's pop. WTF is that ugly nickname? I told you not to call me that. Sorry, I'm good by the way. What about you? I'm fine. So why are you calling me? Oh, I'm here to ask if you know where Kaden is. Oh, uh... Alex's pop. Oh god, she's making this serious, and he still doesn't know Dot does this man have IQ of a child. Oh, I think he went to the park. Yeah, the park. Which park? Oh, uh... The park we went four days ago. Oh, alright, then I'm driving there now. Kaden. Holy shit. What? Look behind you. There is nothing. Jake lies on the ground. What the fuck? Oh my god. Drake, what the fuck are you guys doing? Call the ambulance. Alright, I will. Sage is getting away. I forgot my phone in the car. Zan, go get it for me. I'm going to get her. Alright, I'll come. Just hang in there, dot IT is not mad. In the car. Oh, there is the phone. Wait, dot, where's Emma and Lucas? Oh, well. Zen takes the phone and brings it to Noah. Here. Can you call them instead of the time? Alright. Sage and Mona. What did you do? None of your business. Now drive me to the park. Wow. Rude. Sage jumps out the car. Where are you going? None of your goddamn business. Just stay here until I get back. Fine, Dad, I'll be asleep, though. Starring Keaton hiding far behind. Are you sure she won't see us? Yeah, I'm sure. Only if you follow the steps I tell you. Alright. Now follow me. Why the hell do you walk so fast? Shut and listen. Over here. Okay, wait up. I swear to God. Oh, hello, Sage. So where's Caden? Ouch, move back. Never mind, just come with me. Oh, um... Just watch and stay quiet. Alright. Oh, he will be here. But don't you think Caden is kinda annoying and stupid? Ace's POV. Oh shit, if I Donnie agree, maybe she won't be my friend anymore, so I'll just agree. Yeah, he is so annoying and ugly, like, why would anybody like him? Oh, my god that you're like reading my mind. Dude, are you okay? You look like you're going to cry. Yeah, I'm fine. Yo, dude, are you okay? I'm going go talk to him. But that isn't part of the plan. I don't fucking care anymore. The plan is bullshit anyways. What the fuck, Ace? Wait. How long have you been here? Longer to know you were talking shit about me. Kate and I didn't. Save it. After all of these years, you decide to break my heart now. Did I ever really matter to you? Kate and you do matter. I can't deal with this anymore, Dot. I'm leaving. Wait, please, please stay so I can explain. For one moment at least. Fuck off, Ace. Don't contact me again. PFFF. What? Why are you laughing? I can't believe you fell for my trap. The whole time it was me that MY team kidnapped Caden and you had no clue that you're literally so easy to fool. I thought I could trust you, Sage. Well, too bad you can't. Because of you, I don't have anybody else. 
Not my problem. Nice acting. Oh, thanks. Well, did you film it? Yep. I still can't believe you never told me earlier that IT was Sage. I wanted to see how dumb you are. By the way, what time is it? 23.30? Why? Oh, shoot. Come on, let's go that I'll drop you off. Alright. Thanks again, Ace. No problem. Asterisk Ace's POV. Let's just hope Dad and Mom doesn't see me out this late. Here we go, I guess. Where did you go this time, Ace? Oh, I was. Shut up. Did I ask you to talk? No, Miss. Come here, you useless child. Come closer. You ugly child. Where did you go this time? Old lady, it's Ace. Mother, I can explain. Honey, that go get my bat, please. All right. Please, please don't hit me again. Shut up, you asshole. Here you go, babe. Thank you. Please, no. Old lady, it's Ace. This is the police here. Open the door. Do you think he's going to be okay? Let's hope. I'm hungry. Then let's go buy some food. Do you guys want anything? Get me a donut if there is. I'm not hungry. Alright, Dot W will be back. Still upset? Yeah. How long do we have to wait, babe? I'm not sure. This is boring. Well, sorry, honey and I don't have anything you could do. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Kaden. So why are you here? Oh, I was about to ask the same question. Well, one of my good friends got shot. I'm sorry. It's fine. Now, why are you here? Oh, Ace got abused really bad by his brains this time. What? Ace got hit really bad. Oh, Doc, can you tell me what room is he in? Oh, the first room behind you. Thanks. Caden's POV. Is this the right room? Oh my god. He never told me that his parents abused him. I thought they were just joking around. Kaden, is that you? Yeah. I am so sorry that I didn't mean to say that that I'm really... Don't need to say more dot, just rest ace. But... I will forgive you no matter what. Okay then. Kaden's POV. Then why am I forgiven? Giving him. He said he would never like me dot. And why do I also feel so sad seeing him like this? Do I still have feelings for him? No, I can't. Can't what? Oh, uh, Caden's POV. I have to say it now or never. Ace, I have to tell you something. What is it? I want to tell you that I like you more as a friend. And you have been one of the best things that had happened in my life. And you always make me feel so special, Dot. And I hope we can still be friends if you don't like me back. Caden, I love you too. You have been the best thing that happened in my life that I love you so much. Kaden and Ace kiss. Emma, Alex and Star enters the room. Oh, sorry guys, didn't see y'all there. Okay. What for? Whose phone was that? Oh. Mine. Let me check. Who is it? It's Sage. What did she say then? She's wants to meet me there. I'll call the police AMD where you are going meet her. The police would soon go to you and arrest them. Alright. I don't really understand that, but okay. What about us? Just keep eye out. Okay guys, let's go. The gang left the hospital and heads to the cafe. Okay, I'll go and Emma will call the police. Wait up, Don, I'll come with you. Alright, let's go. Alright, love. Oh, you're here. You, you brought him, I can't believe I like you. You look for real too soft and always talk about your stupid boyfriend. Get to your point. Can't you let the girl take her time to think? Anyways, Come here and I'll tell you. 
Sage throws Kaden off the rooftop. OMG, Kaden. You monster, you just threw him off the rooftop. I know, that's my plan. Police sire. You fucking called the police. You are under arrest, miss. I will get you back next time, Ace. Oh, sweetie, there is no next time. One year later. Everybody, come on, dot. We are going meet up with. All right, coming. All right, get in the car. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I think so. Okay. After 30 minutes driving. Okay, we are finally here. Oh my god, dot. I see my best cousin's grave. Come on, dot. I'm so excited. Hey, Aista, what's taking you so long? The car door wasn't locking. All right, let's go. We haven't been here for so long. Well, I came here a week ago. And you never told me? Well, um dot dot look, there's a butterfly. Hey, get back here. It's been a while, huh? I know that I can't believe it's been one year since Caden died. I'll leave you alone and see what the others are doing. All right. Hey, Caden. I miss you so much right now. I know I should let go soon. But... I love you. The end. Story 5 In a group chat. <laughs> hey, it looks like both of you are thinking about something important. What's going on? I think we're thinking about how to make some extra money. That's right, Monica. You know... Sometimes people have to do a little extra work to earn more money. Not always. I have an idea for both of you. Why don't you join a game of American football with my friends? American football? Good idea, Mon. But you know, Ross and I have never played American football before, right? No worries at all. We'll learn together and give it our best shot. The important thing is to participate and try. And if we win, we'll earn a bonus. That sounds appealing. But do you think we have the talent for American football? Oh, come on. We can practice and learn from Ross. He played American football in college. That's right. We'll help both of you train and prepare for the game. Our friends will definitely be supportive. All right, I think it's a good idea. We'll not only earn extra money, but also have the opportunity to engage in a new challenge. So it's settled. We'll join the American football game. Thanks for coming up with this idea, Mom. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> We'll work hard and strive together. Think about the prize money and challenge yourselves. That's it. Tonight, we start our practice. That's right. You hold the ball, and I'll run. We're going to succeed. So it's time for our first practice. How do you feel? I'm ready, Mon. I'll send our opponents to the sky. Right, and I'll do everything to keep the ball safe. Thanks for teaching me the basics of American football, Mon. No problem, Ross. Let's focus on improving our skills and being good teammates. And we'll need support from our friends too. They'll surely have our backs in the game. They'll be a great source of motivation. Let's head to the field and start our training. Good job, Ross. Your ball handling and kicking have improved a lot. Thank you, Mon. But I still feel a little clumsy. Don't worry, Ross. I'm making an effort too. Oops, the ball slipped at the wrong time. Don't worry, we'll make progress with each practice. The important thing is patience and effort. That's right. I promise to give it my all and not let us fail. Let's give it our all. We'll make history in the upcoming game. Well done, we did great in this practice. 
Look at those disappointed faces. That's right, I feel much more confident than when we started. And I've made significant progress. Thanks for guiding us, Mon. No problem, keep up the effort, guys. The game is approaching, and we'll make our friends proud. We'll make them proud and not let them down. We will defeat our opponents. Right, we've set a goal, and we'll achieve it. Excellent, today's training has come to an end. That's right, it's become more fun, and we feel more comfortable with the ball. I've learned to run faster and kick much better. I'm confident we can win the upcoming game. Great job, you've all given your best. I've seen our teamwork become stronger. I'm feeling a bit strange today. Are you okay, Mon? You seem tired. I... I woke up early to prepare dinner, and while I was in the kitchen. Yes, and then what happened? We accidentally dropped a vintage chandelier. It's broken now. So, what's the big deal? It's okay, Mon. That chandelier was old anyway. I know, but it means something to me. We'll fix it, Monica. There's nothing to worry about. That's right. We'll make it even better. Thanks for your understanding. Thank you for helping me fix the chandelier. It's a precious item to me. No problem, Mon. We're always here to help each other in any situation. And today's training was also great. We did really well and made significant progress. Thank you for letting me be a part of the songwriting project. I'm very happy to work with all of you. I'm proud of the unity in our group of friends. We've worked hard and prepared well for the upcoming game. I believe we'll win. We'll win. We've set a goal and we'll achieve it. And let's not forget to support Phoebe in her songwriting. We'll help her achieve her dreams. Thank you, guys. I can't express how grateful I am for your support. At a cafe. Phoebe, my love life is a mess. I feel like I don't understand anything about love anymore. I feel the same way, Mon. Love life is complicated. I feel like I need to understand love better. Exactly. We both need a little help to gain a better understanding of love. That's why I think we should take a love understanding course. That's a great idea. We can learn more about love and make our love lives better. Right. I'll find an interesting and helpful course for us. I trust your course selection, Mon. We'll become love experts. In the love class. Phoebe, do you think I misread the information or something? No, Monica, I saw that black cat too. Maybe we've come to the wrong class. This seems like a comedy act. Exactly, you know, love life can be funny sometimes. Welcome, students, to the Understanding Love course. I am Professor Whiskers. Unbelievable, this black cat is the lecturer. Maybe this cat knows a lot about love. We will start by discussing the complexity of love. Love is a complex subject, and I believe we can understand it through learning. Love is definitely not like cooking. Perhaps love can never be as perfect as Monica's cooking. That's right. Love requires understanding, patience, and respect. We will learn how to understand the language of love and effective communication in relationships. I hope we'll learn many valuable lessons from this course. Yes, and we'll make our love lives better. Now, let's move on to practical exercises. We will start with a fun exercise. Everyone, describe your love through a song. Express your emotions. Sing about love? This will be a challenge. You know, Mon, I'm not a music artist. But you go first. Great. That was a sincere expression of your love. I'll give it a try. All right, 
Mon, show us your unique artistic side. Phoebe, you're a truly unique artist. Excellent. Both of you expressed understanding of love through music. Now it's my turn. Phoebe, you're indeed a unique artist. Well done. Both of you expressed a deep understanding of love through your performances. Thanks, Professor Whiskers. This is a truly enjoyable lesson. We're always up for fun exercises like that. Good. Now we'll proceed with another exercise. We'll perform a role play about a couple's argument. An argument? That sounds scary. I guess we need to organize an entertaining argument. Yes, an argument is an essential part of a relationship. Let's begin. Why don't you clean the bathroom after you shower, Ross? I'm tired of this. And why do you always leave your dirty clothes scattered in the room, Ross? I can't find anything in here. Monica and Phoebe continue to roleplay the argument, but instead of arguing, they say humorous and nonsensical things. Excellent. This argument was so much fun. We said the most nonsensical things we could think of. It's a great way to simulate an argument without getting genuinely angry. Very well done. Both of you completed the exercise excellently. We will continue learning other communication skills in love. We're looking forward to learning more, Professor Whiskers. That's right. We've learned many interesting things from your class. Great. Both of you are enthusiastic and actively participated in the exercises. I believe we will gain a deeper understanding of love and improve our relationships together. Thank you, Professor Whiskers. We had a fun lesson. It's been a pleasure learning with everyone in the class. In a group chat. Football, Joey, that's my favorite sport. I know, Ross. We've been playing football every year on Thanksgiving for a long time. That's right, and every year, that match turns into an opportunity for us to show off our skills. I want our team to win this time. I want that too, Ross. We've been playing football since we were kids and have had many exciting matches. True, but each time, the competition between us intensifies. I want to change that. I do too. We've grown up and understand our friendship better. I think we should let other people join the match this year. Others? Like who? Exactly. We should let Monica and Phoebe pick their sides and play a four-player football match. That's a great idea. We should let them choose their team. It's a way to show team spirit and support them. Let's do it. That's right. We will join one of their teams. It's going to be fun. For sure, Monica. We'll make sure our team wins this time. We want to let both of you choose which team you want to join. That's right, and we'll join Phoebe's team with curiosity and strong team spirit. Clearly, we need a balanced team and good coordination. I'm thinking about which team to choose. Maybe we should go with Ross's team. Great. We'll make sure our team is worth joining. And we'll join Phoebe's team with curiosity and strong team spirit. Okay, let's focus on coordinating during the match. Phoebe, you'll make sure that our offensive plays dazzle the opponents. Of course, Monica. We'll demonstrate excellent coordination. We need strong defense. Joey, make sure that we don't let the opponents get into dangerous positions. Of course, Ross. We'll have a solid defense line. The most important thing is that we all work together as a team. It's not just about showing off, it's about winning as a team. Right, and if we win, we'll celebrate together after the match. Clearly, we'll show strong team spirit and win for our respective teams. We'll do the same, and show strong team spirit. Most importantly, we're friends. We should focus on having fun. Joey. 
I think we should focus more on defense. The key is not letting the opponent score. Ross, you're too worried about defense. I believe in our defensive line. We need to focus on scoring and dominating the opponents. But if we can't stop the opponents, we'll lose. Ross, I have confidence in our defense. We need to focus on scoring and dominating the opponents. Phoebe, I think we need to improve our defense. Sometimes, we focus too much on the offense. Monica, I feel like we need to score a lot. If we attack strongly, we'll win. But if we can't stop the opponents, we'll lose. Monica, I have faith in our defense. We need to focus on scoring and dominating the opponents. Okay, everyone, let's focus on protecting the goal and attacking aggressively. We'll do that, Monica. This is a chance to showcase our soccer skills. We need to focus on defense. Make sure the opponents don't score. Exactly, Ross. We need to control the game. Phoebe, you try to score, and I'll make sure we don't let the opponents score. Clearly, Monica. We'll score for our team. Joey, maintain a strong defense and don't let the opponents get close to the goal. Exactly, Ross. We won't let the opponents enter the danger zone. Phoebe, how about we just call it a day and go shopping? There must be plenty of attractive deals. That's right, Monica. The game is getting too intense and we can enjoy a fun shopping trip. We can come back and celebrate after the game, right? Shopping together, why not? Right, we can enjoy Thanksgiving in our own way. And that's the true spirit of Thanksgiving. Okay, Joey, to determine the winner, we'll chase this ball. The first one to reach the finish line wins. We've prepared all year for this match. It's our last chance to showcase our skills. Don't worry, we'll control it. That's right, we've practiced with this ball many times. Joey, we should try to be faster. This is the last ball. That's right, I'm trying. But this ball seems to be teasing us. Joey, we've grown up and understand that friendship is more important than competition. Exactly, Ross. This competition is more exciting than any football match. Great job, Joey. We're both winners in this competition. That's right, Ross. We enjoyed a funny and intimate competition. Ross, why did you stop? Get the ball into the opponent's goal. Monica, I need to tell you something. What could be so important, Ross? Ross, just tell me. What was so important that you didn't say on the field? In high school, I joined a football team, but I never actually knew how to play football. Ha ha ha, Ross. Are you kidding me? No, Monica, I'm serious. I joined the team just to impress a girl. I spent the whole season on the bench and never touched the ball. Ha ha ha, Ross. What have you done? I know, I felt embarrassed, but I thought it was time to let you know. Ross, you're a professional football player. Yes, but once upon a time, I was a foolish high school boy trying to impress a girl. Ross, you did pretty well for someone who didn't know how to play football. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Just as long as I focus on the game. Ross, we have to win. We will win, Monica. We did it, Ross. We won. Congratulations, my friend. We won. That's right, Monica. We did well. In a group chat. I've been doing this job for too long. I feel tired and unsatisfied. Maybe you should look for a new job, Monica. You might find something more exciting. 
Should I quit without having another job lined up? Finding a new job won't be easy. Give it a try, Monica. You may need some time to find a job you really like. Did I make the right decision? She quit without a plan. I'm really worried about Rachel's future. I'm worried too. Rachel had a stable job for a long time. Did she think carefully before making this decision? I think we should talk to her and see how she's feeling. We understand, Rachel, but I just want to make sure you've thought this through. We're here to support her, whatever she decides. We just want to make sure she's doing the right thing for herself. We're her friends, and we care about her future. Monica, why don't you consider working in the culinary field? You're an excellent cook. That's true. I could try becoming a chef or opening my own restaurant. Also, you could explore event management. You have experience in organizing and managing. Ross, thanks for the suggestions. Event management sounds intriguing. Monica, you might also think about working as a restaurant or cafe manager. You have knowledge of menus and staff management. That's a great idea, Joey. I can look for management positions in restaurants or cafes. Thanks, everyone, for the suggestions. I'll start looking for new opportunities in the culinary and event management fields. Wow, this guitar is beautiful. We should try playing it a bit. That's right, Monica. Who knows, we might discover our unexpected musical talents. I think we need to take a guitar class. So we've missed our chance to become music stars in a minute. No worries, Phoebe. We can still find a guitar class and start from scratch. That's right, Monica. We'll become music stars in the future. Phoebe, we recently found a guitar class nearby. I'm sure it will be exciting. That's fantastic, Monica. We'll learn the guitar and become music stars. Welcome, Monica and Phoebe, to the guitar class. We'll start with the basic lessons. We're ready. I feel like I'm a music star. Exactly, Phoebe. We're heading in the right direction. We found a guitar tutor, Phoebe. Ryan seems really good. That's great, Monica. We'll learn guitar from him and become music stars. I'm very happy to teach music to both of you. We're very excited. Monica, isn't Ryan adorable? Yes, Phoebe. We found a good man. We should consider having a relationship with him. We found love in the most unexpected place, Ryan. We're indeed lucky. I'm also fortunate to meet two lovely and respectable women like you and Phoebe. And don't forget, we're also learning guitar from you. Exactly, you'll be our special tutor. I believe we'll have many exciting and memorable moments in the future. We believe that too. Our lives are changing for the better. We can learn guitar together and do many other exciting things. I never imagined that teaching guitar would lead to such a special relationship. We're lucky. Yes, we found love and happiness in the least expected place. This guitar class has changed our lives entirely. We'll create many memories and promises in the future. We'll make wonderful memories and have many exciting experiences on this journey. I can't wait to share fantastic moments with both of you. And don't forget, we're going to be music stars. We should start a small music group together, perform at cafes and events. We can pursue our musical passion together. I agree, Monica. We can write and perform our own music. And we can compose our own songs too. Our lives will be incredibly exciting. We need to come up with a name for our group. Any ideas? I think the harmonics sounds good. That's an excellent name. We'll be the harmonics. 
and we'll start working on our plan to perform in the near future. We've created a plan for our future, and it looks promising. Our lives will be full of music and happiness. And we'll be the Harmonics, a creative group. Monica, Phoebe, and Ryan have formed a small music group named the Harmonics. Their lives are now filled with music and happiness. We've achieved everything we set out to do. Our lives are filled with music and happiness. We've created an impressive and wonderful future. I'm happy to live this life with you. This journey has helped us become music stars and find each other. We are the harmonics and the future is ahead. Yes, we've overcome a lot of challenges to get to this point. We've become the harmonics that I've always dreamed of. I'm really grateful to have both of you by my side on this journey. We've overcome everything together. And now, let's start preparing for our first performance, right? First, we need a detailed plan for our first album. Let's start with songwriting. Ryan, do you have any ideas for a new song? I've written some lyrics and melodies. Here's an idea for a song about love and memorable moments. That sounds great. We can start from there and build upon it. Monica, do you have any other ideas? I've planned the writing and recording process. We'll write and create everything ourselves. And then, we'll hire a producer to help us achieve the perfect sound. I think that will help us achieve the best quality of music. And we should schedule daily rehearsals to make our vocals and instruments more balanced. Exactly. Let's follow a strict schedule. We shouldn't miss any opportunities. Now that we have the idea for the album, it's time to record and produce the music. We need a professional recording studio. I have a list of potential recording studios locally. We should check them out and see which one is suitable. We should hire a skilled music producer to ensure quality. Right? Right. We shouldn't cut corners on this. An experienced producer can take our music to new heights. We should also create a music video to promote the album. It can help us reach a larger online audience. And once we have the album and music video, we can start promoting it on social media and our website. After we finish recording and producing, it's time to build a reputation. We should start with small performances at local bars and small stages. Right, we need to practice a lot before stepping onto big stages. This will help us improve our stage presence and connect with the audience. And we should create a professional website to share information about the group, our schedule, and our videos. This will help us engage with fans. That's right, and don't forget to engage on social media to connect with the audience. We should keep them updated on our progress. Now it's time to try bigger stages. We need to plan for performances at larger venues and participate in music festivals. Yes, performing on larger stages will help us reach a wider audience and give us a chance to showcase our talent. Let's plan for a tour to reach different cities. We need to make sure everyone knows the harmonics. Right, and keep interacting with fans and the audience on social media. This will help us maintain a connection with them. Maybe we should address the conflict honestly. Lately, I felt some tension between us regarding music decisions and the group's direction. That's true. I feel like I've voiced my opinions, but no one seems to pay attention to them. I'm sorry if I made you feel unheard. I've been so enthusiastic about my ideas that I might have overlooked your input. No worries at all. We should always be open to growth and learning from each other. Let's make an effort to listen to each other and find ways to make everyone satisfied with the group's decisions. Right, we're all here for the same goal, and we need to maintain our unity. We can use our diversity to create better music. We are the harmonics, and that means we need to work together harmoniously. 
There's something that's bothering me. I've noticed that some fans like Ryan more than both of us. Don't dwell on that. Sometimes, people have their preferences, and not everyone will like us to the same degree. I've tried to put in more effort in performances and promotions to establish my own presence. But it seems like we need more than that. Maybe we should find a way to create a stronger interaction with the audience so they can get to know us better. That's a great idea. We can organize meet and greet sessions with fans after each performance. And we should use social media to tell the story of our journey. This will help the audience understand all of us better. We've decided to organize fan meet and greet sessions after our performances and use social media to share the story of our journey. The first meet and greet was very successful. We had a chance to chat with fans, share interesting stories, and listen to their opinions. And telling the story of our journey on social media has attracted many people. We should continue doing this. That's right. We're giving the audience a chance to understand each member of the group better and establish our unique presence. With the meet and greet and social media promotion, it feels like we're facing a lot of pressure. I'm worried about not meeting the audience's expectations. We're juggling a lot of tasks at once, and sometimes. I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm putting in my best effort, but there's still conflict with Monica and Ryan. Sometimes, I think they don't understand the value of my ideas. We should talk about these conflicts. Maybe we need a meeting to understand each other's opinions and feelings better. Right, we need to work together harmoniously and not let conflicts affect the group's unity. We all want the harmonics to succeed. Let's make an effort to understand and support each other more. After that conversation, we understood each other's emotions and opinions better. Let's use this to build a stronger bond within the group. We should schedule more rehearsals and brainstorming sessions regularly to create ideas for our music. And remember that each member in the group contributes their unique value. We can be more confident when working together. Let's continue to develop and make the harmonics a big name in the music industry. We've been through so many ups and downs, but this has been the most incredible journey. I'm proud of every member in the group. We've sung, performed, and worked together to create unforgettable moments. This will always be an important part of my life. And we've created special music and memories for millions of people. Our music career is still ahead of us. And that's the most amazing part. We've overcome many challenges, and we can overcome more. Let's stay focused on our goals and never give up. This journey may have been tough, but that's what makes it worthwhile. We'll keep going and continue to strive. In the end, we've overcome all the difficulties and failures, and now... We've achieved the success we've always dreamed of. Indeed, all the effort and hard work have been worth it. We've created heartfelt music and performed in front of thousands. We've built an incredible fan community. We are the Harmonics, and this success is ours. From our first meeting until now, we've grown, united, and faced every challenge. We have every reason to be proud of what we've accomplished. And this isn't just the end of a journey, but also the beginning of a new phase in our music career. The Harmonics has showcased talent and created amazing music. This journey continues and will keep building on our successes. We've been through many ups and downs, but this is the most incredible journey. I'm proud of every member in the group. We've sung, performed, and worked together to create unforgettable moments. This will always be an important part of my life. And we've created special music and memories for millions of people. Our music career is still ahead of us. And that's the most amazing part. We've learned, left our mark, and conquered every challenge. The harmonics have a promising future. 
Let's step into this new phase together with strong belief and fierce determination. Closing the chapter on one journey and opening many more fantastic chapters in the future. The end.